Okay, welcome back. My name is Eric with Breezy Root Metal. And today we're going to do this the twin sister video. So I had the videos uh, restoring the Reed 134.5R, and these are steam fitter vices. Well, after I did the restoration video, uh, I happened to come across another one that was identical. So I bought it and I redid that one off camera. So, um, the one that we restored on camera was this one here. <clears throat> so, there was some a number 20 that was stamped in the castings all over, but I have no idea what that means. And then, like in the back, uh, it's hard to see, but there's uh, a number, there's a, like a 7, and then there's a 94 stamp there, so we don't know exactly what that means. But anyway, um, I had speculations on how old it was, but maybe I'm right or maybe I'm way off because the twin sister bought and redid. Um, this one I did find the date on them. Now, reed vices are, are cool because reed usually dates their vices. I have um, another vice over here. Let's see which one is it. I think it's this one here. And this one's got the pin in the back. Let's see if I can get some light. Yeah, there it goes. So this one here has got the pin for the swivel head. Um, this one here is dated um, 1918. So uh, and when I originally found the date on it, I didn't know what it meant because I didn't realize that the vice was that old. So uh, I have um, a couple other reed vices. Um, you know, usually I think the older ones have this round meatball. When Reed, when they got to the late 40s, it had kind of a smush nose. Let me show you. That's what they call like the hockey puck. Yeah, you see like this one here, and I can't remember. These, I have two that are similar, and they're like late, late, late 40s. But see how it's kind of a flat hockey puck. So... Let's go back to the steam fitter's vise. Now, I don't know why they call it a steam fitter's vise. I don't know. I mean, is, it, is there a reason why that the lead screw is on top? Does that help a steam, steam fitter doing his job? I, I have no idea. So I'll have to do more research to find that out. But when we were doing the restoration on this one, and I took the bolt out. This bolt holds this nut sleeve in. Well, I thought it was a wedge in the top that fit in there because when I got it, everything was held in just fine. And when I took the bolt out, um, uh, looked like a wedge fell out. And then I went ahead and knocked the sleeve out, but it was in there good. Well, come to find out after I got this one, when I got the sister, that this nut sleeve, there's a flange on the top that's, that sits up, and then when you put the bolt in, it just pins that flange in and just holds the, the nut in. So what I did was, and since um, you know, good quality vices are uh, cast steel, <clears throat> I mean, even the nut too, I went ahead and I, I kind of gouged out the crack, and I welded it and reground it. And it was fine, worked great. I put it in, uh, no issues. So, um, basically, these by these two vices are identical. Um, this one here is a little bit better shape, but basically they're identical. But like I said, I did find the date on this one. I got all excited. I thought, oh wow, I think it's um, 1919. How cool is that? Well, after I put a magnifying glass on it and then I had the kids come out and I all the kids looked at it, 
anyway i think it says forty nine so nine hundred forty nine so when do they start making this style vice and when do they stop i have no idea but if somebody can let me know if they have some additional information um, i really like the the style of this and after looking at you know the lead screws on some of the other vices i have man the lead screw on this one here is real beefy so really i have another vice i have a morgan let's go look at the morgan six inch And this one over here, this one's a, this is a big boy. So, but if you look at the lead screw in the back there, it's kind of about the same size that the, on the steam fitters vise. So even though uh, the 134 and a half reed is a smaller vise, uh, it's pretty beefy, uh, pretty strong. So, um, Anyway, uh, the original one that I did, I could not find a date. And usually when they date these, and I don't know if even if I zoomed in, if you could see it, it it's so, it's, it's very hard to see. Now there's a 77 up here. I have no idea what that means, but like I said, you can, if you look at it, it says uh, like one of 49. So. Um, first month of 1949. Uh, anyway, um, the jaws on this are a little bit better shape, and um, but otherwise, there's my twin sisters, and uh, probably in a future video, I'll end up mounting these on uh, on a, a pedestal stand because I plan on going to um, move in my shop to a, a bigger building and then just a, a bigger layout. So I'm getting kind of crowded in here now. Anyway, um, again, my name is Eric and this is Breezy B Metal. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, ask away. And like I said, if anybody has any addi uh, additional information on the steam fitter vice, I'd appreciate it. But uh, remember to thumbs up and uh, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.